Hello everyone, this is Brian Paulette, and I am sharing this video to show you some of the many compatibilities between two of my favorite programs, Corel Painter and Photoshop. They make quite a lovely couple. So I'm going to begin this video using Corel, and one of the main uses of Corel Painter is that it's a software that encourages you to use your drawing and painting skills to create your piece, and encourages this by offering you a massive amount of customizable brushes. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using a simple brush that simulates fine charcoal, a burn brush that puts a glaze of color and light over an area, and the iconic pattern pen, which allows you to turn an individual layer into a repeating pattern brush. It's a lot of fun. Um, you may also notice that I can quickly and easily make color adjustments and selections as I would in Photoshop, uh, along with using uh, Corel exclusive things like the mirror painting tool, which uh, allows you to create uh, paint perfect symmetry on both sides of your canvas, uh, and an image hose brush that allows you to spew an entire group of layers onto your piece. Now I'm going to make sure to save my painting as a PSD and jump right into Photoshop. Now, where Painter encourages you to use drawing skills by primarily using brushes to build layers, Photoshop invites you to edit your piece by manipulating each layer or the entire image with color adjustments, gradients, layer effects, transform tool, etc. So what I'm doing here is manipulating each layer and intuitively creating Painter to fit my piece along with collaging resources and working them over top of my drawing, which I'm fairly happy with. Some editing in Photoshop is not compatible with Painter, such as layer effects and adjustment layers. So you may need to merge some layers or flatten your image, which can be a scary thing for some artists. But uh, I feel it just helps you to commit to your piece. Let's pan over to another great example of this creative process. Uh, here I don't have to redraw this layer in Corel, instead I can put the image into Photoshop and resize the layer to fit my vision. After I'm happy with editing my piece in Photoshop, I then jump back into Corel and exercise my right brain by painting layers which I can then edit once again in Photoshop. It's an incredibly fun process which myself and many other artists practice. Unfortunately, this is all the time I'm able to share for now. I do hope I have instilled some creative ideas to mix both Photoshop and Corel into your workflow. I look forward to creating more in-depth videos for you in the very near future. Until then, thanks for watching.